Yo, what's up, Palm Force? It's your boy Zenka7 Palms. We're back with another video. And today we're going to do something slightly different. We're going to do some sort of analysis. Uh, probably a lot of you have dodged a blast card and then wondered, okay, what am I going to do next? What is my opponent going to do? So today we're going to have a look at all the options you have after dodging. And we're going to see it from both the perspectives of you dodging and of the one shooting the blast. First off, I want to thank one of my mods, Black Samaha, for helping me out and recording most of this stuff and taking a lot of time for recording and uploading. And Speed Handles on YouTube, check out his channel in the description down below uh, for, you know, shooting the rest of the stuff that somehow went missing. <laughs> and with that, um, we're going to jump in. As always, um, join the Discord in the description down below. Follow me on Twitch where I stream daily. And uh, yeah, subscribe, like, all the good stuff. Let's go. All right, so obviously the, the, uh, the first option you have is just to attack right away. So when you dodge the blast card, you just pick whichever card you, you want to attack with. Probably best to be a strike card or a blast card because you can chain a combo and you're going to be able to start a combo unless your opponent chooses to vanish. And these days, almost everyone, you know, kind of knows what to do here. So this is going to be very, very risky and most people will not choose to go with this option. Another thing that can happen is uh, when you attack, the opponent just back floats and uh, then manages to just evade your attack as well. Unless you backdash, then you're kind of stuck in the animation uh, as per Goresh's video. But if you backfloat, then you can still get out of it. You can obviously also just, you know, <laughs> see uh, you can land in the strike clash. So if your opponent chooses to attack as well, you both use a strike card at the same time. You're going to strike clash and whoever gets, you know, the, the RNG luck meter first or highest wins. Right? The other thing is you're susceptible to rising rush. Any attack that you do, I think the only thing that you can do is tap punch, but even that isn't safe. So anything that you do will be overridden by a rising rush, even an AOE green card, you will but you will get rushed. And that means you will most likely lose your character unless you guess the rising rush. Um, one thing to be aware of here is though is the priority of the cards, right? So there's obviously different cards. And the first th th first thing to notice is that strike cards always override blast cards. Here you go. Uh, just because their animation is shorter, so you're going to get overridden if you use a blast card. We can uh, basically uh, see that from, from the other side here. You choose a strike card after you vanish, you get the attack first. He uses a blast card and uh, loses priority just because strike cards is faster. Right? Um, another thing is that some characters have special green cards like Yellow Gohan, Green ta Tail Vegeta and Omega Shenron. And their green card is uh, faster than a blast card animation as well. However, it will be overridden by a strike card as we will see later. So here you go, you can see that and uh, you get comboed, right? Tap punches though, tap punches are the fastest thing you can do. So it's one of the safest bets is to tap, to tap punch if you know that your opponent will attack. However, if you tap punch and your opponent doesn't attack but they choose to vanish, you're also in a little bit of a pickle. So let's watch this here. Tap punch, he dodges. And even though I use the strike card, I don't get the clash, but he gets priority just because he's in there a little bit earlier, just a frame or two earlier, to get the priority over my strike card. Another thing that can happen is uh, tap clashes. Be aware though that you're kind of safe, but you still lost a vanish while your opponent is still at this, you know, you can see here, he's still at the same position. So he still has his vanish and you have to switch. Another thing a lot of people do now is you wait for the sidestep. Here you go. And you have to really either time it or hear it because, um, yeah, some opponents delay that and you might just miss your timing here. That happens to me a lot. Um, and if you wait, you can get counterattacked. So you can see that here I'm waiting for the sidestep, but instead he chose to attack me and he gets priority, he gets the combo, even though the time runs out, but who cares about the timer, right? Another thing that is very common in PvP is the double vanish or vanish switch vanish. So you vanish, you switch out, you vanish again, and then um, you have to see that you can wait for your opponent to sidestep and you get the combo. So here you go. This is a little bit of slow motion so that you can see how it works and we will watch it uh, from the other perspective. Here you go. So um, that's how that works. However, a lot of people are now aware of this and they will just wait for you to do your vanish and sidestep and catch you in the sidestep where you cannot get out, you cannot you cannot dodge, and you get countered. 
right? Another thing you could do is um, when you double vanish, vanish into a character that has this AoE green card, and most of the times your opponent is going to use a strike, so you're going to be safe because this AoE green card uh, attacks a range around you, and uh, this means that you will definitely get the combo. The only thing that this can be countered is if your opponent used a blast card and uh, manages to cancel out of the animation early. This un unfortunately can uh, always be countered by the opponent tap punching because then you don't even get to use your green card. So here you go, tap punch, tap punch, tap punch, nothing happens, right? Another thing, if your opponent tap punches, as you just saw, you can backdash. So just pull back on your screen and if your opponent triple taps, he will be stuck in the animation, so you can wait for a little bit to see if the op opponent is stuck in the an animation, like here, bup, 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 and you can attack safely. He cannot vanish. However, if your opponent single taps, then this happens. Boop. He has one tap, it looks like he's stuck in the animation, and a lot of people actually fall for this. Single tap, dodge, and you can attack pretty easily. There you go. Um, the other thing, uh, is if you switch and you tap uh, backdash, if you vanish and you backdash, you can be countered by a strike card. You don't have vanish, and if your opponent uses any card, it could be a blast, it could even just be a tackle, you're kind of screwed. You're getting a, you're getting comboed, right? Another thing, uh, some people try to time you by doing um, a sidestep and then attack and uh, expecting your switch vanish. But uh, if they sidestep and you switch, you'll have the perfect timing for attacking. So you switch and you immediately press your card, you'll definitely be able to attack. However, you can get countered by um, him being very fast and strike carding first, as you can see here. So again, from the other perspective, that worked. Or it can happen that you're just falling to go into a strike clash. So let's have a look at this here. Switch and both strike card at the same time, and that means you will have to be pretty good at clashes, but this is something that is very important anyways. Try not to lose any of the clashes, but I mean, it's also pretty obvious, right? Another thing, um, which we're gonna see in just a sec, here we go, from the other perspective, is a variation, which is uh, your opponent is going to sidestep, and you can tap punch. It's kind of a safe way out, but that means you will have to single tap, because if you do a triple tap and he vanishes that, then you are again stuck in the animation, you will get comboed, you don't want that, right? And the last thing that can happen here as well is it can be countered by, of course, tap clashes. There you go. So the tap clash again makes you lose your vanish, or rather it makes you lose your switch, but nothing really happens. So basically you reset, but you have lost the switch, your opponent done. Then there are certain characters that can restore vanish. So for example, that green movie Goku, with his green card restores his vanish gauge, there you go. However, also this can be circumvented. It's similar for Buhan, uh, where he starts a combo rather than restoring his vanish. If your opponent waits long enough because expect he expects you to use a green card, for example, he could use a sidestep or just wait, until the animation plays out, you have no chance of countering this, and this is what it looks like. Just wait for a little bit, and go. And this is how you basically counter those green cards. You have other green uh, characters like, for example, Gogeta, who just restores his Vanish on green card, and you can just, you know, dodge again. However, your opponent might be able to time it. It's really, really hard, but um, it's a very safe thing to do. You shouldn't waste it all the way at the beginning. You should use it as kind of a clutch comeback mechanism because this can really turn a game around, especially when you're on a 1v2. Here you go, we have Kakunsa as well. And uh, get the perfect Vanish, get the combo in and keep attacking. Boom, let's do that again. There you go. And uh, let's have a look at Super Saiyan Blue Goku. The one thing is if your opponent is really good at timing stuff and hearing stuff, he might time it so that he catches you in the sidestep again. When you're in the sidestep, you cannot move. That means you're gonna get caught, you're gonna get comboed and bad things happen when you get comboed, I guess. So be aware of that, obviously. Another thing that is very, very important uh, is to stop time using your green cards or your main abilities. And how important that is, you will see now. You see that little exclamation mark over there? That means you're gonna get attacked. So dodge, and out of danger you are, at least for the time being. So here, he already hit the attack card, 
Um, with the green card, we stopped time. We knew, we knew that we were going to uh, get attacked, and out we go. Obviously, again, tap punches will counter this, so uh, it really, really comes down to what your opponent is doing and uh, how you can figure them out and whether or not they're going to switch it up or use the same playstyle. So sometimes it just comes down to luck. And here we go, we're going to use two stop time mechanisms because we were so fast in the vanish that we didn't get to see whether he was going to do anything. We use the green card here, we see the exclamation mark again, dodge, there we go, out of danger. And we can, you know, just switch again, have our vanish back if we want to do that. There you go, main ability, green card, here he already pressed his strike card, and vanish. There you go. Right? Okay, another thing that you can do is when you use the green and your opponent actually sidesteps, which you unfortunately can't hear because we don't have game audio, but you will hear the sidestep like, <gasps> you will hear it so you can straight up attack because once you hear this little sidestep sound, that means your opponent is stuck in the animation and he cannot vanish. That means whatever card you're going to use is going to hit, so use it wisely. Obviously, another thing you can do is just straight up Rising Rush. This is very, very risky though. Um, you'll need to be absolutely sure that your opponent is planning to attack you. And as you could see in the animation here, it even overrides tap punches. So you can pretty much do whatever. I think the only thing he could do is um, Rising Rush as well in order to you know, go into a clash. Or what we're going to see now is he can just vanish because the Rising Rush animation is so long and if he hasn't queued up any card yet, he's out of there. Your Rising Rush is gone. So be very careful with that. There you go. Another thing is uh, the switch tap bait. So just have a look at what we're doing out here. <laughs> That's like a, a double thing here. I'm going to switch him out, uh, tap him out with the... Bait him out? That's what it was. <laughs> bait him out with a single tap. Boop. And uh, vanish again. And they will be stuck in whatever animation they are. And you can attack. And um, yeah, next thing. Triple vanish. This is, I would not recommend to do. Here you go, triple vanish and attack. Um, why triple vanish is so you have your vanish gauge back in, in case your attack fails. However, and let's watch, the, uh, watch that again in slow motion. You vanish, switch, vanish again, switch and attack. But you will really need to be able to time your opponent's car, um, attack well or your opponent's sidestep well because you will not have switches for seven, eight counts. And this is really risky. You might lose that unit early if you do that too much because you're going to have to kind of stall out. And now that we don't have tackle step anymore, we cannot stall the time that much. And here you saw how it failed. You know, when you didn't, don't time out your, um, your attack well, this can fail. There you go. And attack and fail. And getting, a chip, getting attacked again in the end. Right, so last thing we're gonna have a look at is what we already looked at a little bit in the beginning, special green cards, so AOE green cards. Here you go, if you use that, your opponent cannot vanish because it attacks mid-range and you get the combo easily. However, have a look again, here he tried to vanish, didn't work, was too fast, and also even if he vanished, he would still be in close range, so that card would have hit. This can easily be uh, circumvented by tap punching. Bup, bup, bup. Let's watch that again from the other perspective. Tap punch, no problemo. And you uh, wasted your green card, right? The, or even strike cards. As we saw earlier, strike cards are faster. So this hurt, don't do that. Be careful. Here we go. And strike card into the card, boom, combo. So you have to really know what your opponent's doing. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope this was helpful to you. And if it was, consider leaving a like, subscribing to the channel, following me on Twitch and joining our Discord community uh, for more questions, team building, discussions, uh, all the good stuff. You'll get notifications whenever I go live on stream. And um, yeah, with that, I'll leave you some more videos in the cart. Have a good rest of your day. My name is Pomfor or Pomzor. Pomfors, yeah, Pomzor. Pomfors, disassemble.